fingerprint sensors. They're the most convenient way to unlock your smartphone, tablet, or laptop, but they've always required their own reserved bastion of space on your device. Always, that is, until now. Here at CES, I just went hands-on with the first fingerprint sensor that lives under your display. Here it is, the magic that makes it possible. It's called the Clear ID sensor from an industry veteran called Synaptics. At first I thought it must have been an ultrasonic sensor in order to read your fingerprint through a screen, but I was confusing it with the competing Qualcomm product due out later in the year. This is actually an optical sensor. It sees your thumb or finger through the spaces between the pixels of an OLED display and uses the display itself for illumination. That fancy bit of engineering lets the sensor hide beneath the glass and the display layer itself, which lets manufacturers build a huge screen into a phone without saving bezel space for a fingerprint sensor, or putting it around back and sacrificing battery size or other components. Now, because the sensor is almost invisible, the software projects a graphical cue onto the area of the screen where your finger goes. It's smart about it, too. It only offers the graphic once you've picked up the phone or turned it over, or when you need to re-authenticate. Otherwise, the scanner area is totally indistinguishable from any other part of the screen when it's turned on. When it's turned off, and you get the angle and lighting just right, you can catch a glimpse of the sensor under the glass. You'll notice it's installed at an angle on this device. Synaptics told me it was able to get faster and more reliable fingerprint readings with an offset like this, instead of mounting it plump. There is a speed sacrifice that comes with this tech. Synaptics quoted a 0.7 second read time, which, despite sounding fast, is actually about 75% slower than the capacitive sensors on newer phones like the OnePlus 5T or Huawei Mate 10 Pro. That delay makes this feel more like a phone from a few years ago. Also, I didn't have the opportunity to test it with wet fingers or dirty ones, so we'll have to take it out in the real world eventually and see how it does. But I'm confident the Clear ID line will evolve rapidly, particularly once that Qualcomm competition hits the market. And even if it's forever stuck at 0.7 seconds, honestly, I'll take it. This is one of those rare things you see at CES that really does change everything. Despite the speed difference, it immediately makes the dedicated fingerprint sensors on my current phones seem clunky and outdated. And it makes me excited for a future when these will hit phones that come to the US. For now, this particular Vivo handset looks to be the launch device, and it's expected to hit shelves in Asia sometime in Q2. Mr. Mobile CES 2018 coverage is brought to you by Thrifter, a new way to save money on everything from gadgets to home goods by shopping based on value and not hype. Check out the latest deals at thrifter.com and tell them Mr. Mobile sent you. Folks, for all the new tech coming out of CES 2018 in Las Vegas, please subscribe to The Mr. Mobile on YouTube and follow me at the same handle on Instagram. Until next time, thanks for watching and stay mobile, my friends. <laughs>